Hey guys, it's Trish. It's Wednesday and you're watching Let's Be Swag. Um, you might be wondering why I have red hair and a mermaid costume. Um, in answer to that question, it's homecoming week and I'm recording this in the middle of the day and I'm going back to school after this. So, I am still wearing my costume, <laughs> but that's okay, because it's so much fun. I would make such a good Disney princess. Anyway, um, this week's topic is our favorite LGBTI plus every color of the rainbow um, characters in movies and, you know, multimedia stuff. Um, I have a lot of these. <laughs> um, I watch TV like all the time and read books and well I read books all the time I watch TV a lot and like when I was going through like the whole like you know figuring out if I was gay or not whatever phase that we all go through um, a lot of what I turned to was like TV uh, finding different TV show characters um, so for that reason because you know it was such a vital like part of my growing up um, I will always have a very special place in my heart for Spencer Carlin and Ashley Davies from South of Nowhere. Um, that was like my first, I guess, gay show that I ever really watched. And every now and then when I'm feeling nostalgic, I still pull up the episodes on iTunes because I have the whole, all three seasons like saved onto my iTunes. And I watch them because they make me feel warm and fuzzy inside and <laughs> I just really love them. Um, a combination of Spencer and Ashley is like my perfect woman right there in a nutshell. Except she'd have red hair because I have a weird redhead fetish. Anyway, um, I think, okay, most L Word fans are probably going to kill me for this, but I have a deep, 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 deep obsession with Marley Matlin. So um, one of my other favorites is Jody Lerner from the L Word. Um, I think, I just think, um, deaf culture is really fascinating, and ASL is just such a beautiful language, and so I just kind of obsessively watched, um, seasons with Jody in him, uh, like, she's starting with, like, I guess season four, all the way through. I love her so much. Marley Matlin is fantastic. I met her once. She smells very good, in case anyone was wondering. Um, wow, that sounded really creepy. Oh, well. <laughs> um... I also really love um, the two movies, uh, Loving Annabelle and Bloomington. Um, Loving Annabelle is a classic, but I really, really love Bloomington. Um, Alison McAtee and Sarah Stouffer are both fantastic. Um, I can't for the life of me recall their characters' names at the moment, but they are great. I really, really love that movie. Um, as do I love, ooh, what other really good lesbian movies have I seen? Uh, imagine Me and You. Oh my gosh. How could I leave that one out? Um, imagine Me and You is such a sweet movie. It was the first, I guess it was my first gay movie, as South of Nowhere was my first gay show. Um, I, oh my gosh, words cannot express. Love that movie. Um, it's one of those ones that I make all my straight friends watch just because I think it's so cute and I know they'll totally get into it. <laughs> Which is great because I have awesome friends. So, um, but, last, oh, I also really love Itty Bitty Titty Committee, and how, or, um, But I'm a Cheerleader. Yeah, Itty Bitty Titty Committee and But I'm a Cheerleader are both hysterical. Um, Itty Bitty Titty Committee is more dramatic, but, uh, But I'm a Cheerleader is hysterical, um, and Itty Bitty Titty Committee is just a funny name. <laughs> um, but my last and most favorite dis, I speak good English. Um, my last and most favorite gay, lesbian, bisexual, whatever characters are, drumroll please, um, failure to drumroll, Vivian and Aster from Anyone But Me. That show is my crack. Um, <laughs> I have such a deep, deep respect and admiration for that show in itself um, and just the quality of production and 
the fantastic acting and the realistic storylines. I just think it's amazing. And I have so much respect also for the people who um, dedicate their time and their lives to the or lives, um, their time and have made a point, you know, to bring this show to the, to, to the public. And you know, the creators Susan Miller and Tina Sess Award, and you know, all the actors, particularly Nicole and Rachel. Um, I have so much respect for the work that they do. Um, it really, really changed the way I looked because, like, I looked at like gay shows because, like. I never, I don't think there's a more realistic betrayal of teenage um, relationships in general, not even just like um, dating, or not even just two girls dating, they have, you know, gay relationships, they have straight relationships, they have, you know, uh, they have a, some other really interesting like relationships along, and then um, like family relationships, and I can't even speak coherently about this show, like I have so much love for this show. So much, so much, so much. And um, you should all definitely check it out. And you should also donate, which I'll put the link down in the info box um, because their season three is um, coming up and they're only making one episode, which will be the finale episode. And it'll be longer than the rest of them because the rest of them are like five or ten minutes long. Um, and they are trying to raise money. And it's such... It is such an amazing production, and I definitely think you should check it out. And, you know, every single dollar counts. So if you could donate to that, that would be so great. Because, trust me, you won't regret it. Like, watch, watch Seasons 1 and Season 2, and you will understand my love for the show. I think it's phenomenal. Um, so, I think that's it. Um, and remember that you guys are awesome, wonderful, perfect people. And I love each and every one of you, and I'm here for you, like, all the time. Um, you can write in my ask box or get in touch with me here. Um, actually, I'd advise you write in my ask box. Um, and if that's too short, um, write in it and write in it. Um, don't write in it on, but if you write in it um, on your Tumblr account. Well, if you don't have a Tumblr account, then just give me your email. Um, however, it, Tumblr makes you do it now with the, you can't actually put an email in there. But, um, and I will send you my email back. So we can talk there if you don't have a Tumblr or if you need more space than the new Tumblr ask box limit allows. Um, so now that I've rambled on about that for God knows how long, uh, I'll talk to you all later. See you, bye!